Welcome back for another food product review video. I love doing these, it's one of my favorite things. There are so many popular food items out there on the market, things that you guys are seeing all the time that you can tell me about and we can review them to see if they're actually healthy, like most of them claim that they are. Today we are reviewing these OWN protein drinks. So O-W-Y-N, which stands for only what you need. They're a plant-based protein drink coming in several flavors. I picked three of them up to taste these and see if they are actually what they say that they are. So these drinks are meant to be kind of a meal replacement drink and they are plant-based, which is really popular right now. And I will say upfront that there is nothing wrong with being plant-based, but there is um, a healthy way to do it and a less healthy way to do it. Of course, I think that we know when it comes to something like a protein drink or a premix thing, it's not necessarily the real deal food, right? Like we're not going, and if it says green blend, like we're not eating the actual vegetables. And so there is so much more benefit to eating the whole foods. So I'm gonna say that upfront in terms of health, but when it comes to convenience items like this, protein drinks, they are very, very useful. And also for someone who's maybe plant-based, maybe more on the vegan side, who's not getting a lot of meat or other kind of animal protein sources, 20 grams of protein in a protein drink could be very useful for them in their day. So like always, we're reviewing this for four different things. We're gonna look at the nutrient facts label, we're gonna look at the ingredient list, cost, and then of course, flavor. So let's dive into these. Like I said, I've got three different flavors, so we'll kind of be looking at the different ingredient lists and nutrient packs for all of them, although they are pretty similar. This first one is going to be a cookies and cream list. So funny little name there. This one is the smooth vanilla option, and this is going to be the cold brew coffee. So this actually also has coffee in it as well for a little bit of caffeine too. So first of all, with this cookies and cream one, we're looking at these nutrient facts labels. They are all 180 calories, all around, yeah, seven grams of fat with only one gram of saturated fat, no cholesterol. But the main things we're looking for, as always, is going to be what kind of fat it is, sugar content, especially in something like this where there would probably be some kind of sweetener in it. We wanna see how much added sugar there is. And then, of course, protein. So with our added sugar, these all have, yeah, four grams. This one with the coffee has five grams of added sugar. Overall for your day, you're trying to stay less than 25 grams of added sugar for your whole day. And so this is only a small amount, not gonna contribute a ton. And when we get to ingredients, we'll make sure that there's no artificial sugar in there that wouldn't show up underneath that. And then it is a protein drink, and so we do have protein in all of these. So each of these is going to be 20 grams of protein, which is a pretty good amount of protein in terms of a meal replacement, right? We're shooting for hopefully at least 20 grams of protein in all of our meals in order to kind of get us towards that larger goal for the day. So that is a good amount of protein in something that's claiming to be a protein drink. Now, what matters a little bit more than the nutrient facts label too is the actual ingredients. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is a drink that is things mixed together. It's not really a whole food, right? We're not going out and creating a meal from scratch kind of a thing, but we'll see if it's the next best alternative. So in this cookies and cream one, we have water, their original protein blend. We've got a few other things. It looks like the sweetener source is going to be cane sugar, and then at the bottom, there's a little bit of monk fruit extract as well, and a few other additives to stabilize this, right? So that it's shelf stable. So sunflower oil kind of giving it that creaminess, that fat that it needs. And then we have sunflower lecithin and guar gum, which are just stabilizers, like I mentioned. So those aren't necessarily super natural foods, but there hasn't been any research showing that they are harmful. And so we can kind of add them in as those stabilizers without any harm, but I'm not gonna claim it's a real food. So there is a greens blend in here too that I would just say is mostly marketing. Like I mentioned, sure there's gonna be some, you know, added vitamins, minerals, or something coming from that, but it's not the same thing as eating your vegetables. So we gotta keep that in mind. These also are really important because they have the omega-3 in them, which is a really great source of healthy fat for us. And then they are dairy, wheat, gluten, soy, and egg-free, along with a bunch of other common allergies too. So this is a really great option for someone who needs to be gluten-free or has a nut allergy, right? Which is kind of hard to find in a protein drink. 
So in terms of these other two flavors, the ingredients are almost exactly the same. Of course, the coffee one is going to have cold brew, but they have the same stabilizers and sweetener options. So we've got cane sugar and monk fruit extract. And so monk fruit is going to be another natural source of sugar. Totally fine. Cane sugar is also technically natural, right? It's coming from the sugar cane plant. And so that is still going to be kind of considered a good option. What we don't want to see in drinks like this are artificial sugars. So like erythritol, stuff like that. So we don't want any artificial sugars in these because those can be more inflammatory but sugar in moderation which we know these don't contribute too much to our total added sugar for the day can be totally okay in terms of how much these cost of course that's going to depend on where you live but these are around three dollars each where i am and so this is the bigger 12 ounce option you can also get them in four packs and a bunch of different things which i'm sure makes them cheaper but overall for a meal replacement option that's a pretty good price and now for the fun part, we get to taste them. So like I mentioned, I've got cookies and creamless. I've got the smooth vanilla, and then I've got the cold brew coffee options. So we'll open up all these, taste them, and see if they are actually tasty. All right, here we go. Cookies and cream first. I don't know what that flavor is, but it's really sweet. Ooh, like way too sweet. I mean, yeah, you kind of get cookies and cream, but it is very sweet. So if you're into that, then I guess that's good. For our smooth vanilla, Okay, this one's much better. Not as sweet, definitely vanilla-y. You get a little bit of the plant protein taste, which if you've had a plant-based protein powder, you know what I'm talking about, but it's not overwhelming or gross. It's just, you can definitely tell it's a little bit plant-based. Okay, yeah, so far I definitely like vanilla the best. I am not a big fan of the cookies and cream, although I appreciate the effort. And then for the coffee flavor, pretty good. The coffee flavor is really subtle, although it does have 148 milligrams of caffeine, which is about the same as an actual cup of coffee. So pretty good if you're trying to get a two for one breakfast option. Not too sweet, so the vanilla and the coffee are definitely my favorites. If you want the extra caffeine source, I would go for that, but the caffeine or rather the coffee flavor is not overwhelming. Yeah, overall, I definitely would not get the cookies and cream again. It's very, very sweet, like I mentioned. So if you're into that, go for it. But the vanilla and the coffee flavors are both really good. Totally worth it, in my opinion. And this is definitely something I would grab on the go. Gas station, grocery store, if I'm running around, out of town, don't have time for lunch, something like that. Because overall, as we saw, it is a balanced meal. It's a high protein option and a plant-based option, which is hard to find and can be really, really useful for people who are eating more plant-based. The ingredients are also pretty good, of course. In the best case scenario, we will be eating something from whole foods, whole plants, those kinds of things. But in terms of a convenient on-the-go option, this can be a really great choice. So I would love to hear if you've tried these. What flavors do you like? I know there's a ton out there. Typically, I'm more of a chocolate fan. Kind of thought I would be loving the cookies and cream, but it wasn't actually my favorite. Leave a comment below of some different food products you want me to review. What are you loving right now? What have you seen that's super common? And we will review that product as well.